so we come to the effect of a catalyst okay we have been told since since the time we were told about the chemical reaction that catalyst is something that accelerates the rate of reaction without itself participating in it okay hmm awesome poisons decelerate there are poisons also which decelerate okay you deliberately want certain reactions to stop after some time so they are called poisons okay so so what happens so what happens we have done this we are doing this catalyst and and what is understood now the first thing that used to fox me at least was if it is not participating in the reaction what, what the hell is it doing there okay and how the reaction is getting accelerated just by its own presence later when you come to know and and more so when you go to the organic chemistry you understand that these catalysts they form an intermediate okay and that intermediate okay so they form an intermediate compound so in that sense they do participate in the reaction after some time you'll find that the catalyst gets separated from that intermediate and that intermediate reacts with something else in the reactant to form some other product okay this is called intermediate complex theory okay and and this is not only a theory it has been proved and verified that that it it really forms temporarily some kind of compound that helps in attaining the 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 in 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 uh, in becoming uh, in attaining the um, products faster okay it makes the the conversion into the products faster okay now so uh, i don't know if if it if it is there in your syllabus but let me give you a slight hint about it what happens the normal energy path through which a reaction goes is is say say this is a reactant and this is a product then it this is how suppose a reaction goes okay now what happens is this the maximum energy above the energy of the reactant that it goes is called the energy of activation this is energy of activation activation okay this is reactant okay this is the product this is the above line this this is energy this this is the energy and this is the peak that it attains before it <coughs> releases its energy and falls down <coughs> okay so it comes here fine okay now what happens so this is your energy of activation without the catalyst without the catalyst <coughs> now it is believed <coughs> that when the catalyst comes into play the energy of activation gets reduced okay so there is an alternate pathway of lesser energy that the whole thing <coughs> takes okay so this is the energy of activation this is the energy of activation with the catalyst this is ea c okay e a c no this is just the formation of reactant the the product product concentration you can say
okay is the product concentration so what happens this esc is the energy of activation energy of activation without the oh, sorry with the catalyst okay so what happens actually the catalyst forms the catalyst forms an intermediate compound with the reactants or, or, or an intermediate compound with smaller amount of with smaller amount of ea that is energy of activation smaller amount of ea okay this accelerates the rate of reaction this accelerates the rate of reaction however it does nothing to the equilibrium constant the equilibrium constant remains where it is however kc doesn't change it accelerates the rate of the reaction in which direction rates of the reaction in the forward direction normally you take the reactants in the it accelerates the rate of reaction the rate is how fast it achieves the product the concentration that you get at the equilibrium will be the same it is the kinetics which is getting affected okay yeah it is the uh, the final concentration will be the same so maybe a reaction reaching at an equilibrium after two days may be reaching it in one hour right that's what is the advantage that's all okay and and it it will it will accelerate only a spontaneous reaction not a non spontaneous reaction okay that that requires something else okay the concepts of gibbs free energy and all then only a reaction is feasible so it does not affect the catalyst does not affect the spontaneity of the spontaneity of of reactions okay it does not affect the spontaneity of reactions that is it accelerates only the only the spontaneous reactions okay do we get a feel of how and why a catalyst must not be consumed itself and still be accelerating a reaction we'll very clearly see this happening in this very class in organic chemistry when you go for maybe chlorination of benzene or whatever okay you'll you'll actually see how an intermediate complex gets formed which suddenly breaks releases the releases the metal maybe iron or aluminum which you are using as a catalyst and then itself itself uh, it, it releases that catalyst and then the product is formed and 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 it takes this this lesser activation energy path okay more about this you'll learn in in class 12th when you understand why and how things get changed when when the activation energy goes lesser than what it was originally okay there is there is an equation that governs it the rate of reaction 